Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is for the month of September. However, guys, please remember this is a general reading. Time is fluid, so I say September, but it could have already happened or it is in the process of happening. And not to forget, energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you are here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, welcome back, guys. Thank you so very much. Let's go, Capricorns. We are ready. Let's see from where we are starting. We are starting from... Ooh, look at that very strong very strong energy we have emperor right there and the queen of air Whew. wow look at that look at that is there some kind of a clash it could be authority versus somebody who's too straightforward and doesn't really get too bedazzled by authority or is it your energy put together you being very objective but at the same time you know thinking long term well we'll see how it unfolds that's what i'm getting right now with just these two cards temptation <laughs> Big God's coming for you guys. Temptation. King of Waters. What is this? There's somebody who is very kind hearted. That you are getting tempted to. But your objective mind is like no. That is not how it should be. That is not how it should go. Probably there are two involved. This feels like a love trial or it feels like you being confused between two. The queen of air feels like you trying to be objective. You're getting tempted between the emperor and the king of water between somebody who has the potential, a lot of potential and is very loving, very kind hearted, knows how to express that love and somebody who has that authority, somebody who has that status, that power. Whoa, okay, tough, tough spot to be in because clearly you are getting tempted towards both. Now to make a choice between both is also tough for the simple reason that you cannot compare a king of water with an emperor status wise. But what are you looking for in a relationship? Are you looking for power, position, authority or are you looking for love? What I feel is though your heart says you want to go for love, your brain says what has it given me so far? Because you are coming out of a heartbreak. And probably that is the reason you are like, this time around, let's be objective about it. You cannot be objective about love, loves. Hmm. Give me some more for this king of water on this side, please. Patience. Yeah. Gotta give yourself time. Don't jump guns, okay? And take a call. Clearly at this point in time you are confused and your decisions are... I would say not overpowered but definitely influenced by something in the past that gave you pain. And right now you are in a very uh, wishful thinking mode. Nine of waters is what I see. So clearly that temptation is very, very strong. 
on both sides like for both people that's why you are told have patience give yourself time do not do something in a spree of moment tree of air spirit page of air because there are a few things that we need to really you know clear in our head as to why we are doing what we are doing lots of air on this side you being earth sign it's a complete opposite energy that's coming your way you're not really in your element so to say because of this temptation there are some truths to be faced loves about yourself as well not just the situation and you need to deal with that patiently this particular situation with whomsoever I am connecting the group that I'm connecting with this temptation is very very strong don't land up biting more than you can chew so don't do something in the spree of the moment Decide, spirit. What do we do with this very, very tempting two proposals that are on the table? Well, we cannot be sailing in two boats, I hear. Gotta choose which world you wanna be on. Cannot really keep doing some astral travel cannot just keep hopping gotta choose which world you want to be in wheel of fortune well clearly the energies are moving that's for sure I see 10 there is a cycle that needs to be wrapped up you've been told you cannot really be on two sides at the same time you cannot be sailing in two boats transformation probably this temptation has been divinely placed in your life so that you can clear some mental clutter I hear mental clutter yeah give me some more for the world seven of fire and the hangman Look, there is a lot of passion and seven of fire is all about you, you know, not only just standing your ground, but also keeping that fire tamed. It's a very controlled, confident energy. It's you knowing who you are, where you stand and taking a balanced approach a balanced call hangman coming in there and that my loves is also about taking time one more please to close this energy circle just one more spirit What's going on, Capricorns? This choice has really made you very restless, I feel. You really wanna, too many, too many. Though I see the Queen of Pentacles, that's finally some of your energy. By the way, we don't have any Pentacles here, any Earth element so far here. You are kind of really out of your element right now. King of air. <sighs> Look at this. On this side, except the fortunes, we, we have all air. All air. And we have justice at the bottom. Okay. Okay, there's something that's definitely shifting when it comes to this queen of air and king of air. There are some 
people that you are separating from energetically or physically or legally that three of air with the fortune's wheel is lots of pain but now things are shifting ugly truths coming out probably this is what has happened because of which now you are like uh, I don't know I want to go for what my heart says but I gotta be objective my heart gave me too much pain but it wasn't your heart that gave you too much pain it was you not feeling as connected with someone or you guys were just too um, shrewd <laughs> to be with each other too objective to be with each other too much from the uh, headspace connected too much from the headspace to be connected from the heart space you know two people too practical to be together in a romantic situation or a situation that needs more heart more emotions than probably there was maybe you guys were not capable of that you know it's not that you were not capable of that it's sometimes the connection that is like that you know the energies when come together sometimes just does not feel like or does not allow you to kind of bloom you know let's clarify guys very complicated someone's got a lot of complicated emotional knots here that we need to clearly deal with with patience and give ourselves time before jumping on conclusions emperor spirit let's clarify emperor seven of cups look there is this confusion you feel that this emperor might give you more in life but you know most of the time when it comes to the seven of cups it's just universe way of testing you whether you've learned your lessons or not <laughs> though at this point in time it looks like not just that it is got some underlying purpose but it feels like at this point in time you feel this emperor can give you more enough and more temptation probably that is the temptation you want to have it all knight of wands clearly there is a lot of passion clearly there is a lot of determination clearly you want to you know move forward there is a lot of fire there king of waters look this is the thing seven of swords when it comes to your heart I do not know whether your heart is really with you at this point in time or is it really aligned with your headspace when it comes to this king of cups there is seven of swords coming along with that now i do not know whether it is necessarily this king of cups energy feels like you are fooling yourself in some ways you want <laughs> that's funny what is coming along you want a combination of this king of cups and the emperor Well, you can definitely have a lot on your checklist, but you cannot fuse two personalities or two people together. No? Let's go to the Queen of Air. Look, Six of Pentacles. You want it all. That windfall. You want it all. Capricorns, are we being really greedy right now? Some of you are, I hear. Three of air. 
King of Wands. There was somebody who left you with a lot of pain. Somebody who I feel was not just charming but also arrogant. I feel this King of Wands and this King of Air energy together. Somebody who was charming but at the same time too cold. Or somebody was gaslighting you. Oh, this is complicated. Wow. Yeah. This feels like somebody was doing this hot water, cold water treatment with you. You were left confused in your head. Sometimes really, really charming. Sometimes too cold. Too sharp tongue. Too much from the headspace for you to connect. But it would leave you confused because at times when you would want to let go, there would be this shower of passion. I'm not saying love, passion to keep you in that whatever cycle that you were in. But that cycle is either wrapping up or already got wrapped up and I feel either parallelly while this cycle is wrapping up physically maybe energetically you are already disconnected with this person and you are ready to let go of but this person keeps luring you back into the situation with these love doses you know love bombing but I feel that there is definitely something that's coming back in balance or you guys are legally separating from somebody. Energetically, I feel you already have, but somebody was doing this to you. That is the reason why it was so painful. Page of air. Let's see what is this page of sword. What is this that we need to face? There is something that is to be faced. Your emotions, your own emotions. Guys, you might pretend like that queen of air all cold and detached. But you're not. You are not cold and detached. And you need to face your emotions. And there are a lot of underlying complex emotions. There are. Let's go to patience. King of Pentacles. That is finally first Pentacle card, by the way. No, Six of Pentacles came in. But yeah, with your energy that I feel is in this circle. King of Pentacles with patience. Yeah, you need to give yourself some time to get grounded again. Your emotions are running everywhere. Because I feel the connection that you had wasn't really a healthy one. It doesn't give the vibe of a, of a healthy relationship. There's a lot of mental manipulation going on. Lots of emotional gameplay that's been, you know, going on for quite a long time. That has left you in that, you know, really troubled and painful spot there is a lot of heartache there and confusion i see confusion too probably that is the reason why this king of cups is not really you know able to impress you as much because you're like i'm not gonna get fooled by my heart again this time i'm gonna fall in love mindfully I will think about it. Uh, really? <laughs> this is not a, it usually functions, Capricorns. You really need to give yourself time to figure this out before you jump here. I see a lot of passion there, a lot of confusion there, a lot of options that you have. And this could be somebody trying to get over heartache by a rebound situation. Oh dear God. 
you do not want yourself to be in a deeper emotional pit just to get out of one the world let's see you need to give yourself time and some sort of perspective here because you're all over the place clearly to choose look that's the balance that we need temperance we need to give ourselves time to find where we want to be to find our grounding because this is leaving you basically nowhere everywhere but nowhere that's what's happening everywhere but nowhere let's go to the fortunes wheel what is this shift of energy spirit please clarify yeah five of pentacles coming out of feeling miserable but for that you need to give time and get grounded find balance justice and temperance coming together this is that sense of you know feeling small left out in the cold feeling abandoned by a loved one just cold shouldering somebody i feel this king of air landed up cold shouldering you in return you did the same thing by the way you did the same thing just because you did not want to show how much it's hurting so every time you'll be like okay you want to go sure i would walk first out of that door and then this king of swords this king of air with you know give you some passion in ration and you'll take it or it was the other way around it was basically not a healthy connection simple as that simple as that and you're getting out of that as i said energetically or officially legally you are coming out of that this king of air look the nine of cups it came in the reverse and usually these days i am told not to read cards in the reverse but for this one it seems like i'm told read it both ways because it seemed like your dream come true because initially you really connected from that mental space you really connected from that head space you know you guys were very objective you guys kind of it, this feels very corporate okay i do not know why but it does for some this was connection or love at workplace and now that has gone sour this is a big issue and probably these energies are also coming from work space this could be your boss or somebody higher in the hierarchy who is interested in you and it feels to you that that is kind of better but then you are still in your head should i should i not you know let me think objectively about it the first time i did that i screwed it up it felt like you know this is what i really wanted it sounded perfect we could have the same holidays we were in the same you know department or floor or something like that you know we could spend our free time together but it just started feeling very 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 controlling you do not want to do everything with your love to you with your romantic partner you really need some space clearly there was no space here and when you asked for it you just got either cold shouldered or love bombed for you to stay in and this every time that you wanted space you were made to feel like okay go get out this was a very extreme situation and now you are coming out of it as i said whether energetically or officially legally whatever that is or both new energies are coming in that's leaving you really really freaking confused you are told to take time this could have been your dream come true turning into a complete nightmare dang seven of fire holding your ground 
standing strong holding your ground standing strong against temptation i hear look the knight of cups against temptation hold your ground against temptation you are told again and again bring that balance in life choose the world you can sorry guys my alarm went off that's why now you see the angle a little different slightly different than before i had to tap out tapping out tapping out of the situation i was saying you cannot start a new world before shutting doors on the world behind you you would leave yourself hopping from one place to another that's going to just leave you in a limbo that's going to just leave you hanging in the air you need to resist this passion this temptation that knight of cups there is a lot of passion clearly coming in there is a lot of look a lot of fire knight of wands knight of cups and you want to take action but you clearly seem to be very confused we have seven of cups and seven of swords with the emperor and the king of cups this is not a good combination when you are confused and it seems like you're fooling yourself like no i have the situation in control you don't you don't i'm sorry to say this but you don't you need to first figure this out manage your emotions at least face them before managing them you need to face them so face that truth face those emotions face those rather painful ones for you to be able to let go because listen universe is with you to get you out of this feeling miserable situation but the universe is not really happy with the choices right now you are making and is asking you to patiently work on yourself and gain that balance hangman look judgment is coming in with hangman there is something definitely wrapping up two of cups here this is a romantic situation for most of those that i'm connecting with for some maybe not maybe this is a as i said the fusion of professional and personal life but this has got something to do with heart situation there needs to be a closure judgment and justice coming together bringing balance back in life by wrapping cycles up some cycles need to be wrapped up no matter how wonderful it felt in the beginning it's leaving you in a lot of confusion there was a rather unhealthy pattern here that needs to be worked through why you fell in that pattern what you contributed to this rather unhealthy situation what are you responsible for you need to you know figure this out and somehow process these energies and emotions before you land up in some kind of a trio of sorts you land up in some third party situation you land up in a deeper pit to get out of one give yourself time people give yourself time some doors need to be first shut before you try and knock on the other doors you seem to be already knocking on some doors before you are shutting the door that is still open let's get to your final guidance message to wrap up this reading capricorn final guidance message for my capricorns magician the mirror are you tricking yourself loves stop doing that whatever you are going to do right now is going to manifest so this is standing in a very strong manifestation mode but manifestation's got nothing to do with right or wrong positive or negative it's just energy whatever you give to the universe you get it in manifold so be mindful of that is what i feel just looking at the card let's read what the card has to say exactly 
knowing and using your true power. This card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. Probably that's what is what universe is asking you to do. In the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. There you go. That's what we are feeling right here. I want to take an action. Tempted to take an action. In his right hand is the vortex of water and the light of reflection. Taking me to temperance somehow. Look. Very similar. Right? This highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin and the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together, they give you the magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Look, this is in your hand as it says, use or dismiss. That is your free will. That is where you stand in power of a magician to make or break things, to make them happen or to not make them happen. The yin and the yang. That is in your hand, the balance that we are talking about. Its silver reflection reveals the future is a mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. It's all in your hands. And just as an alchemist turns the base metal into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. You can do that if you give yourself time to ground yourself and look at things in a rather balanced manner and bring in some much needed equilibrium in life. This is true in every area of life. Claim your power and embrace your intention in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mists of future will clear into brilliant reality. Wow, how wonderful. Capricorns, this is universe telling you, bring in balance, bring in clarity and it is only and only in your hand, only you can do that and on that rather positive note i'm gonna take your leave my capricorns i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods